Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox. I'm the Compliance Evangelist, and I'd like to welcome you to One Month to Operationalizing Your Compliance Program. This month, I'm proud to announce a sponsor who will be with me all, all month. It is Oversight Systems. Recent developments at the Department of Justice and Securities and Exchange Commission have emphasized the operationalization of your corporate compliance program as the best defense to an FCPA enforcement action. It has also increased awareness that corporations need to evaluate and drive their compliance programs into the very fabric of their organizations. The best practices of an operationalized compliance program is set out in the recently released Department of Justice Evaluation of Corporate Compliance Programs. Oversight's automatic transaction monitoring solution, Insights on Demand for FCPA, operationalizes your compliance program. For more information, go to oversightsystems.com. Last month, the Department of Justice very quietly released a document entitled Evaluation of Corporate Compliance Programs on the Fraud Section website. The document is an 11-part list of questions which encapsulates encapsulates the DOJ's most current thinking on what constitutes a best practices compliance program. Within the list are some 46 different questions that a chief compliance officer or compliance practitioner can use to benchmark a compliance program. In short, it is an incredibly valuable and most significantly useful resource for every compliance practitioner. The document has one clear theme that I will be exploring this month, that you must operationalize your compliance program. I hope you will join me for the month of March to learn how to operationalize your compliance program. This is Tom Fox. Welcome to day one of operationalizing your compliance program. Today, I introduce the new Department of Justice Evaluation of Corporate Compliance Programs and how it requires you to operationalize compliance. The evaluation most generally follows the Department of Justice and Securities and Exchange Commission's seminal 10 Hallmarks of an Effective Compliance Program released in the 2012 FCPA guidance. However, if there is one overriding theme in the 2017 evaluation, it is the DOJ's emphasis on doing compliance as the 46 questions posed under the 11 general topics are designed to test how far down your compliance program is incorporated into the very fabric of your organization. The evaluation is not simply a restatement of the 10 hallmarks, as it clearly incorporates the DOJ's evolution in thinking in what constitutes a best practices compliance program. And it certainly builds upon the information put forward in the DOJ's FCPA pilot program released in April 2016 regarding effective compliance programs most particularly found in prong three entitled remediation. Once again, I detect the strong hand of DOJ Compliance Council expert Wei Chen in not only helping the Department of Justice to understand what constitutes an effective compliance program, but also providing solid information to the greater compliance community on this score. Roy Snell, the CEO of the SCCE, in a piece entitled Breaking Business Attorneys Embrace Compliance, the DOJ Compliance Effectiveness Document said, the Department of Justice evaluation seems to be having an impact on the business legal community's perspective on compliance program programs. The document covers material that has been discussed for 20 years and is very well written. But the effect it is having on the business legal community is as if they found the Dead Sea Scrolls of Compliance. I'm sure the business legal community has seen descriptions of compliance programs in the past, but my impression is that most of it had not had a comprehensive impact. The overarching view has been, it seems, that compliance programs are all about the law as opposed to being about law, risk, audit, ethics, education, etc. It's a subtle but material distinction. And I think this may be a small tipping point for the business legal community because the Department of Justice document is coming from a source they feel they can't dismiss. The document is coming from a source they pay keen attention to, the Department of Justice. Adam Turtletaub, also with the SCCE, was even more direct in his piece entitled, It's About Compliance Processes, Not Legal Practices. And he noted, It is also notable for what is not on the list a focus on legal issues. Instead, the list squarely looks at how the business operates and how the company integrates compliance into its business functions. The word legal appears in it once, and the word law, not at all. 
By contrast, training appears eight times, board seven, management 11, and process a whopping 29 times. While compliance with the law, of course, starts with the law, and while a strong partnership with legal is essential to compliance management, and a lawyer could certainly lead compliance, the compliance profession, as this document shows, is clearly not about the practice of law. It is about building effective systems to prevent, fix, find, and fix problems that are integrated into the business. This document, the Evaluation of Corporate Compliance Programs, is an 11-part list of questions which encapsulates the Justice Department's most current thinking on what constitutes a best practices compliance program. Within the list are some 46 different questions that a chief compliance officer or compliance practitioner can use to benchmark a compliance program. In short, it is an incredibly valuable and most significant, useful, significantly useful resource for every compliance practitioner. It is clear to me that the document has one overriding theme, which I will be exploring in the month of March. That is, you must operationalize your compliance program. Over this month, I'm going to uh, each day devote one topic of how you can operationalize your compliance and tie it back into the new DOJ evaluation of corporate compliance programs. At the end of the month, you'll have an excellent roadmap, which you can utilize going forward. So what are the three key takeaways from today? Number one, the Department of Justice evaluation requires you to operationalize your compliance program. Number two, the Department of Justice evaluation makes clear that compliance is not a legal process, but a business process. And number three, the Department of Justice evaluation is significant for what it does not focus on, legal solutions or even legal language. In short, Compliance is a business solution to a legal problem. It is seen in many industries that this is now a standard part of contracting. And in this series, I'm going to explore how you can drive compliance into the fabric of your organization. But now it's more than just a good idea. It's required. This is Tom Fox. I hope you have enjoyed today's episode, and I hope you will join me tomorrow for day two. This is Tom Fox, and I'd like to thank you very much for listening to today's episode of How to Operationalize Your Compliance Program. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me at tfox at tfoxlaw.com. If you've listened to this podcast via iTunes, I would greatly appreciate it if you would rate us. It would help in our rankings and help get the word out about how to learn about operationalizing your compliance program in one month. This is Tom Fox. Thank you very much for listening and hope you'll join me tomorrow.